Law 3. Create your world by speaking your word. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18.21 The influence of the spoken word has been acknowledged for millennia. Throughout history, people have understood the potential of words to shape their lives. In the realm of manifestation, verbalizing your desires is one of the most potent methods to bring them to life. When you speak something out loud, you emit vibrations into the universe that can impact your subconscious mind, which then influences your actions and choices. The more you reiterate your desires, the more your mind concentrates on them, and the more likely you are to take the necessary steps to manifest them. Here are some guidelines on how to effectively express your desires out loud daily to manifest them. Starting off with, be clear and specific about your desires. The more precise you are about what you want, the more likely you are to manifest it. State your desires in clear and concise terms, so there's no uncertainty in what you are requesting. For instance, instead of saying, I want a better job, be specific about the type of job you want, the salary you desire, the type of people you will work with, and the location you prefer. Next up, use positive language. Your words create your world. Eckhart Tolle. Affirmations are positive statements that we repeat to ourselves, internally and or out loud. Affirmations are a powerful tool for attaining success and reaching your goals. However, the way you phrase your affirmations can have a significant impact on their effectiveness. In addition to using positive language, it is crucial to frame your affirmations in the present tense, or in the ING form. When you use the present tense, or ING form, you're affirming that your desired state is already in progress or has already occurred. This makes it easier for your mind to accept and act upon the affirmation as the subconscious mind operates in the present moment and is more likely to internalize statements that are phrased as current realities. On the other hand, when you use the present tense, you're essentially telling your subconscious that your desire is perpetually in the future, never in the now. For example, instead of saying, I will be successful, say, I am successful, or I am becoming successful. By using the present tense, or ING form, you're aligning your thoughts more closely with your goals and aspirations, which amplifies the power of your affirmations. That's important to note that affirmations alone are not enough to achieve success. They must be accompanied by an inner willingness to make changes in your life and outer dedicated action to move you forward. Affirmations can help you stay focused and motivated, but they cannot replace hard work and dedication. Incorporating affirmations into your daily routine can be a powerful way to shift your mindset and achieve your goals. Here are some tips for creating effective affirmations. Use positive language. Focus on what you want to achieve rather than what you want to avoid. Be specific. Use concrete, detailed language to describe your goals and aspirations. Use the present tense or ING form. Frame your affirmations as current realities or works in progress. Repeat your affirmations regularly. Incorporate them into your daily routine, such as saying them aloud in the morning or writing them down in a journal. And believe in your affirmations. Visualize yourself achieving your goals and truly believe that you can make them a reality. Remember, affirmations are just one tool in your toolkit for achieving success. By combining affirmations with action, dedication, and a positive mindset, you can create the life you desire. We will look at this more deeply in Law 5 in the section on affirmations. Now moving on to speak your desires out loud daily. Make it a habit to verbalize your desires out loud every day. Find a peaceful place where you can be alone and speak your desires out loud as if you are conversing with the universe. Repeating your desires out loud daily helps maintain your focus on what you want and sends a clear message to the universe about your desire and your commitment to manifesting it. 
Research has demonstrated that talking about your goals and desires can positively affect motivation and goal-directed behavior. For example, studies have discovered that individuals who write down their goals and share them with others are more likely to reach their goals compared to those who keep their goals private. One specific example of a study on the impact of discussing goals on motivation and goal-directed behavior was published in the journal Personality and Social Psychology Review in 2002. The study found that individuals who wrote down their goals and shared them with a friend were more likely to achieve their goals compared to those who kept their goals private. In the study, participants were asked to set a personal goal and were randomly assigned to one of three groups, a control group, a writing group, or a writing and accountability group. The writing group was asked to write down their goal, while the writing and accountability group was asked to write down their goal and share it with a friend or buddy who would check in with them on their progress. At the end of the study, the researchers discovered that individuals in the writing and accountability group were more likely to attain their goals compared to those in the writing group and the control group. The study suggests that discussing your goals and sharing them with others can lead to greater success in accomplishing your goals. Now moving on to mastermind collaboration. As referenced in the above research, individuals who write down their goals and share them with others are more likely to achieve their goals. Taking this to the next level by leveraging the support of a mastermind alliance could be immensely beneficial for your success. A mastermind collaboration is a group of individuals who come together to support each other in achieving their goals and advancing their careers or businesses. The concept of a mastermind was popularized by Napoleon Hill in his book Think and Grow Rich. It is based on the idea that two or more minds working together can be more powerful and effective than one mind working alone. The idea behind a mastermind collaboration is that by working together, through the power of synergy, members can leverage each other's skills, knowledge, and experiences to manifest their goals more quickly and effectively. They can also provide each other with encouragement, advice, resources, motivation, and accountability, and help each other overcome obstacles and challenges. A mastermind can be formed between an individual and their spouse, friend, or business partner, or with a group of colleagues. When their goals and thought patterns align, great things can happen from the merging of minds and accountability around a common purpose. Overall, a mastermind collaboration can be a valuable tool for individuals looking to grow and succeed in their careers or businesses. By working together and supporting each other, members of a mastermind alliance can achieve greater success and fulfillment in their lives. Now moving on to Use visualization techniques. When you express your desires out loud, visualize them in your mind as if you time travel to your ideal future. See yourself already possessing what you want and feel the emotions associated with achieving your desires. Visualization techniques can strengthen the vibrations you send out into the universe and make it easier for you to manifest your desires. And finally, Believe that your desires will manifest. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Mark 11.24 Belief is one of the most crucial elements in manifestation. When you express your desires out loud daily, you are making your requests known, which is a form of prayer, whether you are religious or not. Prayer is simply a spiritual practice of communicating with a higher power to express gratitude, seek guidance, or request help. Believe that the supreme and mysterious power of the universe is already working for you to bring your request to you, and act as if you already have your desire. Trust the process, and be open to receiving your desires in ways you may not have imagined. I also recommend you give thanks in advance for your wishes fulfilled to tap into the power of gratitude and add depth to your belief. Disciple of the Law, George Muller Miracles through prayer, unwavering faith, and the power of divine provision. 
Born in Germany in 1805, George Muller came from a religious family. Now, although he was raised with religious values, it was later in life that he fully embraced a life of faith and service. In 1829, Muller moved to Bristol, England, where he became involved in Christian ministry and began working with orphans. Muller had an unshakable faith in God and believed that prayer was essential for obtaining the resources he needed to care for the orphans under his supervision. Despite facing numerous challenges, he chose not to make public appeals for funding, but instead prayed for the resources he needed. He documented his prayers and the responses he received, demonstrating that his prayers were consistently answered. For example, on one occasion, Muller and the orphans urgently needed food, but he had no money to buy it. After praying for provision, a baker soon appeared at the door with a large amount of bread that he had mistakenly baked and could not sell. In another instance, Muller and the orphans required coal to heat the building during a harsh winter, but he lacked money to buy it. He prayed for provision, and shortly after, a coal merchant arrived at the door with a large amount of coal that he had been unable to sell and wished to donate to the orphans. Through numerous similar experiences, Muller's prayers were answered, and he was able to provide for the orphans' needs through prayer. He even managed to build five large orphan houses in Bristol without incurring any debt, as the funds for their construction were provided through prayer. Muller's steadfast faith and reliance on prayer serve as a testament to the power of prayer and the role it can play in attracting success and abundance. His story has inspired countless individuals to turn to prayer in their own lives and trust in the power of a higher being to provide for their needs. Disciple of the Law, Emperor Ashoka From Ruthless Conqueror to Compassionate Leader a transformation powered by affirmations. Emperor Ashoka, ruler of the Mauryan Empire in India from 268 BCE to 232 BCE, was known for his ambition and thirst for power. As a young prince, Ashoka sought to expand his empire and conquer neighboring territories. However, his conquests came at a high price as he waged bloody wars and caused immense suffering to his people. Following a particularly brutal battle in 261 BCE, Ashoka experienced regret and despair. He realized that his pursuit of power had only brought him and others pain and misery. In this moment of crisis, he turned to Buddhism and began practicing meditation and mindfulness. As part of his spiritual practice, Ashoka recited affirmations to help focus his mind and clarify his intentions. He repeated phrases such as, I am compassionate and kind, I am a just ruler, and I seek to help others. These affirmations helped reprogram his subconscious mind and redirected his energies towards positive goals. With this newfound mindset, Ashoka transformed from a ruthless conqueror into a compassionate leader. He promoted religious tolerance, social justice, and environmental conservation. He built hospitals, schools, and public works projects to improve the lives of his people. He even sent emissaries to spread Buddhist teachings throughout Asia and beyond. Ashoka's legacy as a wise and benevolent ruler has endured for centuries. His affirmations helped him overcome his negative tendencies and align his actions with his values. By embodying the qualities he sought to cultivate, he achieved great success and left a lasting impact on his world. Disciple of the Law, Arjun, unleashing inner strength, the power of affirmations in shaping a legendary warrior. Arjun was a legendary warrior from the Hindu epic Mahabharata. The Mahabharata is a composite work of revisions, editing, and interpolations over many centuries. And the oldest parts in the surviving version of the text may date to near 400 BCE. Arjun is one of the five Pandava brothers who are the heroes of the Mahabharata. His story is set in the Indian subcontinent, specifically in the region now known as Haryana state. In ancient times, a warrior named Arjun had a burning desire to succeed in life. He was determined to achieve his goals and fulfill his destiny but he faced numerous challenges and obstacles along the way. 
Arjun understood that he needed a strong mindset and a positive attitude to overcome these challenges. He decided to practice affirmations daily to help him stay focused and motivated. Arjun's affirmations were simple, yet powerful. Every morning, he would repeat to himself, I am strong and courageous. I am destined for greatness. I will achieve my goals no matter what. Arjun's dedication to his affirmations soon paid off. He began to feel more confident and focused. He faced each challenge with determination and never gave up. Over time, Arjun's reputation as a fearless warrior grew. He won numerous battles and became known as one of the greatest warriors of his time. Despite his success, Arjun never forgot the power of affirmations. He continued to use them throughout his life, always reminding himself of his inner strength and his ability to achieve anything he set his mind to. Arjun's affirmations helped him achieve his ultimate goal of becoming a respected and admired warrior, renowned throughout the land for his courage and determination. Key Takeaways Declaring your wishes and intentions out loud daily is a powerful tool that can help you manifest your desires. Be clear and specific about what you want, use positive language, say your desires out loud every day, leverage the power of masterminds, use visualization techniques, and believe that your desires will manifest. Remember, the universe is abundant, and there is enough for everyone. When you manifest your desires, you are not taking anything away from anyone else. You are simply allowing yourself to experience the abundance that is available to you. In conclusion, the stories of George Muller, Emperor Ashoka, and Arjun demonstrate the power of prayer, belief, affirmations, and a positive mindset in overcoming challenges and achieving success. By incorporating these practices into your own life, you too can harness the power of the universe to manifest your desires and create the life you have always dreamed of. Or perhaps something even better. Words. Our words are seeds we sow each day that bloom into the world we portray. Speak love and kindness and watch them grow in a world where positivity overflows. Choose words that uplift, inspire, and heal, and see the world through a different reel. For words are the building blocks of our fate, so let's create a world that's truly great. With each word we speak, we mold our reality, so let's use them wisely with intentionality. For a world that's filled with hope and light is a world where all our words ignite. Dr. Josh McWealth Unamba